Good Morning Britain presenters Richard Madeley and Kate Garraway quiz the Shadow Education Secretary about the Labour Party calling for a general election. However, Madeley has been heavily criticised for his patronising interviewing technique after appraising the MP for answering a question. Madeley asked the MP, can you just tell us what you would do? Would you raise taxes and cut spending? I want to be the next education secretary so I would remove the tax breaks that private schools enjoy and put that into state education," she replied. After Shed finished making her point, Madeley said, Thanks for giving us an answer, that was good. Good Morning Britain viewers lashed out about the way Madeley handled the interview on Twitter, with Camille remarking, Madeley is too patronizing. I'd refuse to be interviewed by such a biased misogynist hashtag GMB. I'm a celebrity lineup confirmed as first stars arrive in Australia James Cusick fumed, at GMB Richard Madeley is a patronizing AE. Get him off. Sick, Gemma Starbuck said, I hope Richard is this rude when he speaks to a Tory MP later. Hashtag GMB. Ben added, Richard Madeley on hashtag GMB had to be the most annoying person to listen to in the morning. A Smith commented, Labour MP on GMB sounds quite level-headed even if Richard is trying to catch her out hashtag GMB. Mo Jaffer penned, absolutely brilliant interview by at Phillips on Bonnet GMB just now. Truly put Richard Madeley back in his box hashtag GMB. During the rest of the interview, Phillipson told ITV viewers, the only reason we are having this discussion is because the Conservatives have crashed the economy, no one was talking about this a month ago. We weren't talking about deep cuts and public spending. She also said the Labour Party will continue calling for a general election in the wake of Rishi Sunak being appointed as the new Prime Minister. Richard Madeley slams GMB guest saying no one is proud to be British, latest stop calling it that. Richard Madeley over sex worker remark, Udpate Richard Madeley admits he and wife Judy wouldn't pass woke test, insight Sunak has replaced Liz Truss as the leader of the nation following her resignation after spending just 45 days in office. Philipson added, I'm afraid it is not going away. We will keep calling for, a general election. She said it was important for the British to have their say on which party they wanted to see run the country. The MP said Sunak's appointment as Prime Minister is not going to put a stop to the chaos we've seen in the Conservative Party. They have been in power for 12 years now and I think we see how the focus they have on their own party interest above the country is going to cause real and lasting damage," Philipson added. Sunak will meet his new cabinet on Wednesday morning before facing opposition leader Sir Keir Starmer at midday for Prime Minister's questions. Jeremy Hunt is remaining as Chancellor and James Cleverly as Foreign Secretary. Good Morning Britain continues on weekdays between 6am and 9am on ITV.